Welcome to a Lake Berg Legacies. We are going to be checking out the first 30-ish minutes of the game because it is now in full release. Ooh, we've got uh, decisions to make. So you could choose how long your uh, game goes. It's interesting that there's um, like an end time. Uh, it seems like it would be a game that could just go on forever, which I think maybe they're considering a um, endless mode, but I can't remember. Ooh, you can custom build stuff. I'm not entirely sure what to go with here. So we'll go with the regular. Uh, yeah, let's go with the tutorial. Welcome to Lakeburg, my child. My name is Tindra and I am psychic. Like my mother and like her mother before her. I am an expert in lonely hearts. I just love weddings. Spicing up other people's lives and finding them a soulmate is my whole life. A vision led me to this godforsaken hole. With a little luck and a lot of seduction, Lakeburg can become a true haven of love. And you, you will assist me with this goal. Ooh. What? Yes, you were in my vision. And now we've got work to do. You'll find my cart nearby, so knock on my door when you find someone to marry. Allow me to introduce Aurora, your first villager whose descent will form the very first foundation of Lakeburg. Let us find her an occupation. Hey, let's put her in the uh, Lumberjack's Lodge. Okay. In order to produce uh, higher quality Lumberjacks, must have good athletic skill. Okay, yep, yep. In order to produce quickly, they must have good strength. Okay. They will be happier if they belong in the peasant class. Uh, the impact on their morale will be reduced. Okay. Future villagers will be sorted depending on their potential to work on the displayed building. Alright, so let's grab this lady. We just click and drag, yep. Let us wait for Rory to finish trapping her first batch of wood. Okay. So we have time down here. Different speeds we could go. Okay. Different ways to filter everything here. We can unlock new slots in the building. Upgrades. One for working uh, conditions. And one to just make the basic production better. Oh yes. Forgot about this. this is where they will mentor uh, like teens. This is our gold. Hearts allow you to influence the fate of families' lives. Okay. So this looks like all the uh, stuff we'll be producing. With the fresh chopped planks, we can build a nice house for our young Aurora. From the village, go to the house's view. Okay. With a bit of elbow grease, one can achieve great things, you know. So let's go ahead and build the house. And then click to enter it. Alright. This is where you make your home sweet home. Drag into the owner slot. Alright, this is getting boring. Let us find the perfect partner for Aurora. Send her to me from the village. Okay. Uh, this is where their children will go. I like, um, I've played the demo on this and the house like evolves the more people and everything you have in here. Like the exterior and interior and I think that's a really cool touch. So let's go back to the village. We have couples. All right, so farewell singleness. Hello, coupledom. <laughs> so let's get Aurora in here. Find your soulmate. You can choose the suitor's gender in Lakeburg. Villagers have no preferences and gay couples can adopt children. Okay. For now, Aurora is alone in town. We'll need to broaden our field of research. So we could do it just in town, but since there's literally no one here, <laughs> we'll do surroundings. The most important ingredient for a lasting relationship is to find someone with whom your villager has good affinity. Uh, right here. That way, the ideal suitor will share the same dis likes and dislikes. And it's important to remember the suitor's likes or dislikes so you know what topic to bring up during dates. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> After the wedding, the suitor will move into Lake Berg. Don't forget to make sure they're a good recruit. Now, it's time to make your choice. I only ask for a few hearts to fuel my crystal ball to, to propose a new suitor. Ah, yes. So here you can shuffle. Alright, so these guys are going to have a bad affinity 
because uh, she loves the countryside, he hates it, he loves reading, and she hates it. So let's say no. Ooh! Okay. Excellent affinity. We have lots of the same likes and dislikes. Unfortunately, I don't know how likely um, she'll- we'll have a job for her. Um, so they have aspirations. Interesting. So they have jobs that they uh, would really like to have, but they have ones they're also just good at. Oh, she's a bit depressive. Devout and romantic. Okay. Um, let's go with this one just because it is excellent. So they like the countryside and they hate fashion and meditation. Let's, let's try this. I hope you remember your suitor's hobbies. They aim is to bring up topics they like and share their dislikes. Failing that, staying on neutral ground is a safe bet. Okay. If you have a memory relapse, my crystal ball can help you. Okay. So we could use this. So uh, these two are enjoying the pale moonlight. The unique moment allows them to get to know each other better. So we could criticize the countryside or sitting on a cushion to meditate. Do these people not have something more useful to do? I think, oops, I think this is the right answer. I think they actually both like the countryside. So well done. This marriage is in the bag. Let the two lovebirds continue dating. So they strengthen their love before trying to not the for life if they so wish. Okay. They cannot sit still for more than two minutes. She has no patience whatsoever for this weird hobby. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with a charming rendezvous with a nice bottle. So they're at the inn. Propose the idea of picking some flowers in the fields or uh, denigrate the baker and his cloying treats. She does like baking, so I don't know that that's the right option. It seems like picking flowers might have to do the countryside, and we know that they like that. So... Yeah? No. Ah! Okay, good, good. <laughs> the boat. They're enjoying a boat ride. Make fun of people more interested in their outfits than their skills or talk about the neighborhood's cute little kittens. I don't remember seeing anything about kittens, so it might be a safe neutral. I do think they both disliked fashion. Aww. This world is way too superficial. Nobody even knows how to dress in the morning anymore. <laughs> Pretty. It's a match. All right, uh, let's rejoice. We are gathering here today to celebrate the union between these two. I do. Congratulations. Now I'm counting on you to make Lakeburg grow for the years to come. Have the village thrive and become a, as prestigious as prestigious as possible. Here's a list of objectives to achieve, so you can increase your prestige score. I'll reward you for your investment. Whatever happens, remember you have to have at least one villager around so Laper doesn't become a ghost town. If you find it difficult to follow everything that's happening at Lake Bergen once, you can use filters to look at special details. Okay. So far I was in charge of time, but now it's your turn. You can make it go faster or pause it. All right, I'll go now. Recruit new people, marry them, and forge lifelong or long-lasting relationships. All right, so she is unemployed. Did they go into a house automatically? Yep. Uh, this is where you can follow the events of this couple's daily life. The higher the affinity between both the spouses, the more likely the impact on their love will be positive. All right. It is possible to give 
uh, the couple's love a little boost with a gift. In a couple, love is divided into several steps. If it falls to zero, the couple will automatically break up. Makes sense. According to its love step, the couple will produce more or less hearts and prestige. The very love will determine the couple's chance of spontaneously having a child. If you want a couple to become parents, you'll need to have one room for the child. If you want your two villagers to abandon their parenting plans, you can ask them to abstain. Okay, cool. Now, if the waiting really becomes unbearable, you can spend a few hearts to have a child join the household. Okay. If a couple is at its wit's end, you may decide to facilitate the breakup. Okay. And all of this costs this love or heart currency. Oh, an event. Uh, they've been chatting for hours at the inn. Suddenly, Jacynthia poured her bear on a Rory, completely soaking the poor soul. How does she react? Um, so things about to happen. So we can either smile politely or laugh. It's by her character sheet. The villagers class determines the impact on their occupation and their morale. Oh my god, there's 16 of these. All right. <laughs> if they work in a job associated with a different class, they will migrate into that class after a while. Uh, we saw the aspiration. These are the stats that impact uh, quality and time. This is what makes your character unique. Oh, interesting. Personality traits are passed on to one's own children or apprentices during education. Huh. And then there's biological traits that will be passed on. This is their life traits. Uh, it sums up their states and feelings at any given time. Uh, so we have morale which cuts uh, down their life if it's in the negative. Uh, citizenship level increases the as the villager spends time in the village. For each level, they gain new yearly needs. Okay. So when things are taken care of, they get a positive trait, allowing, allowing them to be at optimal capacity. Uh, luxury needs. Um, prestige is gained. The essential needs are not satisfied. They gain a negative trait, which then takes down on their life. Got it, got it. So I don't know if the her trait at six is what triggered this event, or if it's just how the response is going to be taken. Uh, but let's go with laugh. Seeing Aurora, seeing Aurora laugh merrily at her clumsiness, she apologized with a smile. Covered in sticky beer, Aurora offers her to come to her place to take a bath. Ooh. All right, so back to the village. So this is where we can see the ah, this neighborhoods. Oh, this is where we can recruit people in who aren't married. All right, so build. In Lakebird, you can build uh, three groups of buildings by using resources. Each of these groups follows a definite order. For instance. To build a hunter's cabin, you must first build a farm. Makes sense. So we have like trees here. Let's look at their needs. Nothing yet. Uh, it's too bad it won't tell us ahead, but it may it may be random per person. We can't construct this because we need wood and leather. Leather is gonna come, I assume, from the hunters. Oh yeah, we can see right here. So to do these guys. But that one takes quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna need to work down to Hunter's Cabin, so let's go ahead and build a farm. Ooh, lovely. So you don't have, um, you don't get to choose where stuff goes. That's just, uh, it's predetermined. You just kind of get to pick when it happens. So she's still unemployed. If we go here. Oh, this actually works for her aspiration. Because it works with food, I guess. So, yeah, we'll put here. Oops, kind of expect the click instead of drag. We'll go ahead and pop her in there for now. She's gonna produce us five broccoli in 300 days. <laughs> Almost said years. <laughs> Super would have definitely died by then. Uh, we have some recruitment available. We need some manpower. If you don't like the current profiles, you may ask another. Village neighbor to apply. 
You can also wait for other people to show up spontaneously at the village. Uh, let's give it the last couple days. I, um, let's go ahead and pause. <laughs> which is space, which is good. Um, the butcher might be interesting. Shh, we don't really have any need of these right away. So that's why I was going to wait. Here we go. Taster, innkeeper, and fisherwoman. Does that seem like something we really need? Gather, teacher, and prankster. Let's go ahead and replace this one. I just don't know if gatherer is what, like the hunting cabin or any of that's going to be. Let's roll. Where's our money? Up, up top. So let's go ahead and roll again. A baker, butcher, farmer. Uh, let's take this lady and recruit. I love the art. All right. So we got someone to move in. We need to head into houses and build a house. We have enough logs. Okay. Head inside and put her there. There we go. Uh, perfect. How are you guys doing? Things are going very nice here. They're a perfect match. Ooh, look at that. Uh, they're... They really want to have a baby. So we may have Baba's soon. I, was, I keep wanting this to be a uh, exit. <laughs> Just not what that is. Uh, she needs a job. So how would she compare... Okay, so they both work fine here. Um, so let's go ahead and can see what we would need for their next building. We could also try to get a, her a spouse, but let's check this first. Hunter's cabin. We need a lot more wood. Uh, so does it have a rate we're producing somewhere? So we're getting 12 every 90 days. It might be worth it to try to get um, enough wood to open up another spot here. So let's go ahead and go into the couples area. Find soulmate uh, surroundings. So we have good affinity. I'm kind of thinking either like a woodsmith would be good or hunter if that's a specific um, aspiration. So we're going to be rolling for a little bit, I bet. Oh. Mary has the mean trait. Oh, okay. I was wondering what would, what would come up here. No, thank you. Finally found someone who had a good... They have a good affinity, but this, none of these are going to be useful anytime soon. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, this might work. Uh another farmer. I don't know if that's exactly necessary, but it's the first one where we've got a good affinity and I'm flying through my hearts. So they like cuddles, dueling, but not kittens. Okay. Ooh, he's smart. Nice. Let's go with yes here. All right. Criticize those barbarians who see dueling as a hobby. I think they like dueling. So we'll go with this more neutral one. Oh. And they think the baker's in cahoots with the tooth puller. This one's about meditation. No cuddles before the third date. I think that's also wrong because they both like cuddles. I think they like cuddles and the fighting. I can't remember which type. Um... And then they hate kittens. So make fun of meditation. Uh, let's see. Recite. Poem. Okay. So they don't have like the potential to have something really great like the last one. Uh, they, we've only had neutral or the bad option. So everything's been neutral, which is fine. Let's try the poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. I live in a small shed, and I really love you. 
These clumsy little, clumsy little rhymes simply melt Benedict's heart. <laughs> Perfect. It's a match. Alright. So let's get these guys married. Congratulations. Um, we are going to be needing to wait for this. 46 a year. Oh, we are paused. Alright, we got enough wood here. I think we want to open up another slot here. Um, so neither of these would work well. So let's do everybody. So Rory obviously is good. Oh man, yeah, no one here is or at all okay with this. But we'll put Benedict here for now. Uh, when two or more workers are toiling together on a daily basis, it's essential to maintain a good ambience. Problematic workers in ambience are marked with a bomb. Oh, problematic workers in ambience are marked with a bomb. If they're trivial, they're marked with um, suspension points. As for nice workers in ambience, they're marked with a flower. The overall working ambience sums up the various relationships between all of the workers in the building, and it, products, it impacts production time. Neat. I imagine we're going to end up kind of in the middle ground here, but we'll see. Oh! Enough agents. Cynthia can't stand the situation that Benedict puts her in. Secrets and lies, staying discreet, avoiding missteps. Life is tough when you love a married man. Ooh. Uh, enough is enough. Aha! Uh -huh. This t it's time to confront Benedict. After a few stolen minutes in some in a haystack, she declares, enough of the secret meetings and stolen kisses. I can't stand this anymore. Won't you make more room for me in your life. So those two will get married, which would break up Sig Sigurd and Benedict. No. They become rivals. The relationship with Sig Sigurd would go down. Uh, let's say no. Benedict is used to his lifestyle. After all, enduring the sting of straw is a small price to pay for forbidden fruit. However, she hates being left in the background, which Benedict learned the hard way when she started screaming romantic ballads under a window in the room he shares with Sigurd. Oof. Um, so we now have enough to build the hunting cabin. All right, so let's go into here. I like taking off the this filter so I can make sure I have like the best people going where I can. Uh, let's take her here. And then obviously you are no longer able to meet the inhabitant needs for this resource. You need to find a solution for producing it. Okay. To solve a negative, <laughs> ah, this spacing is fantastic. Uh, consumption production ratio, you have two possibilities. Uh, invest in the efficiency or make a new worker shop a slot so let's get her in here for now um, and soon we'll have enough for the wood and I will actually be increasing the farm and taking um, the guy out of here and putting him into the farm there we go so let's go ahead and open this up let's get everyone in here so she's here. Let's move him in. Uh, so since they're obviously together, this is going to give them a good working situation, which is why I wanted to end up switching that up. Hunter's cabin is going fine. So what do we have here? I always make sure you pause when you're looking at the screen because they can switch even if you're like considering getting somebody. So it's going to be more costly to swap them out. We do have a huntress here though, and she wants to be the huntress. Let's go ahead and recruit Eleanor. Let's 
get a house built. So let's wait for the wood to do that. Let's not click that as the exit. <laughs> Ooh, they're gonna have a baby. That's our next house. We're doing fine here. Apparently Sigurd doesn't care about what happened with the other lady. But the other- these guys do. They have a minus 10%. I do wish that when you were in this menu hitting escape didn't bring this up but instead took you to the village. We could find Eleanor a, a partner. Might wait until she has at least a house. <laughs> oh, I could switch her out for the hunter though. Uh, so let's go ahead and swap these two. So that'll get us more leather. And then let's stick her here. Um, she's not going to do a whole lot, but it is better than nothing. Uh, Lakeburg is now a town thriving with life. Villagers meet and interact, having social relationships evolve within the village. Oh, okay. They have met and now share the following relationship acquaintance. Nice. There are eight groups of social relationships. When they share a relationship, the latter can evolve positively or negatively depending on their interaction. A relationship can also change groups. To create a relationship between two villagers or make it evolve, you can have them greet each other. Now the result isn't foolproof. Oh, do we just have a baby? It's little Robert. Oh, how cute. Aw, uh, he is frail though. That's not good. But he's nimble. It could be just because he's a baby. We'll have to see if that evolves or not. Can we... Yep, we can build the house now. Let's go ahead and head in. Get Eleanor a house. Let's see if we can find Eleanor some... Well, what do we want though? I would take another lumberjack who would be better suited here. Um, and what is next in our tree? build. We've got the mason workshop which will produce stone or we could go for sewing. It would take a bit to get the materials. Um, I think Aurora was decent at uh, sewing. Oh I think this is maybe changed. I think they get better at their their jobs the longer they do it. So we could look for um, someone who sews. So surrounding area. We, so we have someone who sews. Their affinity is not great, but it's not terrible. They only share a like of flowers, but yeah. This guy has a lot of good traits. So yeah, <laughs> let's do this. I should have looked at the other ones. I only was really paying attention to the ones they do and don't share, but because they only have one shared, it makes sense a lot of these aren't going to pertain to it. So I probably should have looked at the neutral ones. Let's just see what Tindra using this does. Okay, so it doesn't show... So it shows them without saying which way they like it. <laughs> it's not the most helpful. Because it could be saying dueling is available. But one of them hates it. Let's try this one. Ah, shenanigans. Okay, didn't go well. Music is... Ah, they're both here. Let's just go with that guy. Dang it. <laughs> Let's drink. Can one of these have to do with kittens? It's the only one I know. Uh, so countryside's come up twice. So let's say that. What a silly idea. Uh, it's a fail. Nice. Oh, okay. So we're back here. Kind of sad we lost that guy, though. <laughs> um, so divination and meditation, they neither like. They both like cuddles and dancing. Uh, and she has it here. It's not her aspiration, but it'll work, I guess. Uh, boat ride. They both dislike that stuff. So cuddles? I think that might have been a green one. Uh, or like a positive one. Oh. Alright. A giant display of food was simply disgusting. 
think one of them liked feasting. I think one liked feasting and the other liked silver and gold. And those were their likes but not shared. I might go with the minstrel. And pray. They should banish all musicians. Oh no. Alright, so get excited about library or dancing. Uh, going to assume dancing was the other one that they shared. I don't really remember anything about reading. Yay! It's a match. Hey, God. Uh, let's do it. Congratulations. Oh, look at little Robert. So Martha doesn't have a job. It'll be a bit before we have enough to uh, build that anyway. So I think that might be where we end this um, episode looking into the game. Uh, so you can- I, I also did a demo. Uh, it feels pretty close. I think there's going to be a little bit of adjustments, but if you want to see a little bit more, you can always check that out. Um, if you are seeing this close to when I release, release this video, uh, right now the game is on sale. I got it for $15. So uh, it's a fun little game. It's very pretty. I think it's worth the $15. So uh, I hope you guys check it out. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.